Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Cruzy here. And in this video, we're going to be building out your KPI tracker, sorry, not KPI tracker, SOP tracker and creation system in under 25 minutes. Um, and the biggest problem that businesses have is they don't know, like six to seven figure businesses is they don't know how to delegate SOPs and they don't have a system around it. And that's what keeps our business running when we're gone. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up inside of Airtable in this video. Um, if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat down below and I'll get them all answered for you. If you get any value out of this video, hashtag value down below, hit that like button. The more people reach, more people, uh, the more people engage, more people we reach, the more people we can help with this. So let's get into it. The first thing I've written it all out for you here. Boom. So the first thing that you want to do is determine the departments <clears throat> for your business. The basic ones I put in right now are SOPs for marketing, sales, fulfillment, operations, human resources, and finances. And then the categories for Airtable, I've written all these in, responsible, status, type, process, reference, resource, um, video tutorial, category, screenshot, date created, last revised department, and there are more that you can add on there. Those are the basics. And you also want to think about the categories within each department as well, which we'll be going over in this video. Um, lastly are the tools. So let me show you how cool this is with the Airtable Web Clipper, Loom, and an AI called Scribe. So if I'm um, shooting a video on how to complete this SOP, and I'm using the AI Scribe, which I really love, I can start recording and I can show the SOP that I'm creating, where to click. Maybe I just wanna say, boom, it's in the month of May. This is how you change it. Change your love score to under six, whatever it is. And Scribe, the AI, will capture all of that, all of those clicks, and it will automatically create a <clears throat> screenshot SOP for me, right? So that's the value of Scribe, just easily creating S, uh, SOPs. And then doubling that with the Airtable Web Clipper, it is absolutely incredible. So you can set the Airtable Web Clipper up. You can hit uh, SOPs right here, and then it will capture the title, how to enter uh, a data value on Airtable, and I can change that if we want. It will automatically add the process in there, the link to the process. And then I just need to assign who's responsible. So maybe it's Michael on my team. This would be an operations process and it's documented right now. And the category is, boom, let's go to the orange. It would be Airtable. And then if we had a video tutorial for it, we could add it in there. And then this would be a process to complete that. And I add it and it's automatically uploaded Airtable and assigned to Myco. That's how quick we can create SOPs with this system. So let's get into how to actually set it up inside of Airtable. So we'll go here to Airtable and we wanna hit create base and you can put it inside of your current base if you're using Airtable. And up here, we want to rename it and just call it <clears throat> SOPs. And what we want to do here is now add in the categories for the SOPs. So with a blank table, I like to start here. And then I wanna rename this to SOP name. So we got the SOP name in there. And then we wanna go back to the categories and we wanna add in responsible status and type. So up here, I'm gonna just say responsible and I use the user, um, user function and then I can select the name of the person who's responsible on my team. And then we wanna add in status. And what I'm going to do is leave it as a single select text, but you're gonna wanna use a single select 
So single line text here, pardon me. And then I'm gonna pull this from our SOP tracker right here. And I'm just gonna grab the status, copy that, and I'm gonna paste it into status. So here, you will see once it's uploaded, boom. The statuses that we have are in action, needs approved, documented, video created, identified, needs updating, and not in use. So we got the status in there, and you guys can pull the same statuses. And then we want to go to type. So what type of SOP is it? And again, you're going to use a single select. We're going to use a single line text here because I'm just going to pull from ours. And the three that we have are <clears throat> template reference process. So is it just a template that we can use over and over and over? Do we just want to reference this thing or is it actually a step-by-step -step process, right? So we got type in there. Now we want to add process reference resource. So I'm going to type that in at the top. And what I'm going to do here is a long form text and enrich text formatting. And this is where it can be written out the process reference or resource, right? So then we want to pull the rest of the categories. So video tutorial category. So video tutorial. Will be a URL link. And then we want to add in the categories for each department. So categories. And here we're going to do a single line text. You will do single select. Boom. And what we're going to do here is pool from the categories and add it in here. So here's some of the categories we have. The color is associated with the department. So blue is all marketing, green is all sales, purple is all fulfillment, orange is all operations, blue is all HR, and then dark green is finances. So what I wanna do next is put in department, and we're gonna use a single line text here. You're gonna use a single select. We're gonna go back to this and we're gonna grab the department. Boom. And then we wanna add in the rest of the categories here. So screenshot, date created, last revised and department. So put in dates created. And what's really cool, this will automate it. So uh, created, created time. And this will automate when it was actually created. And I want to exclude the actual time it was created. And we'll put that field in. So these were all made today. And then created by, we want to automate that too. So created by. And then you will see it's automated that I have created it. If my team member, Maiko, uh, puts it in here, then it will automate that she has created it. And now you just about have your dashboard. We wanna add in a screenshot as well, in case you're using screenshots. So. And we're gonna use an attachment here so we can take screenshots and add it to our system as well. I'll put it over here. This is great. I'm gonna put screenshot over there actually. So here are all the categories in one. I'm gonna delete these. So we got SOP name, responsible, status, type, process reference, um, template, uh, video tutorial with the link, categories, department, screenshot, created by, uh, created date, created by. So now, what we can do is break this down by department. 
or whatever you want to break this down by. So I'm going to go in here and rename this sales. Actually, let's start with marketing. And then let's duplicate this. Call this sales. Let's duplicate this. Call this fulfillment. Let's duplicate this. Call this uh, operations. And then human resources and finances. Boom, and rename finances. Now what we wanna do is filter each of these sections by the department. So filter, department is finances. Human resources, filter, department is human resources. Operations, filter, department is operations. Fulfillment, filter, department is fulfillment. Filter, department is sales. And then filter, department is marketing, cool. So now you have a section for each of your processes right here. So you can go down the list now and start outlining all of your processes. So in here, we might want our sales script and responsible might be me. And this is a reference since it's a sales script and we can put our sales script in there. And then you can add in a video tutorial of going over the sales script, or you could add in here an example of a sales call using that script. And then what you can also do is group this by categories. So sales script might go under sales calls. Right. And then let's look at our other categories we have here. Triage call script. Um, let's say that Raul is responsible for that. Let's say it's in action. Or actually, for this example, let's say we've identified as we need to create it. Right. So then we can put in the, this is a reference and this is our triage call script. And what we can do here is change the category to triage calls. Boom. And now it's labeled by that. So now we have it all in there. If we wanna take it a step further, what we could do is duplicate one of these and say SOP status. And we wanna change the filter here, take finances out and filter it where uh, we don't wanna filter it. We wanna group it by status. So that way we can see what we actually need to work on. And I can flip this around so if I wanna see the identified ones first, we can do that. Now you have your SOP board set up inside of data. And what I would do is add the Airtable Web Clipper in here. If you want some trainings on that, that's in uh, our Peace and Profit School community. Just let us know and I'll drop the link uh, and I'll get you the, the training on how to set up um, the Airtable Web Clipper. But you set it up and then you can just connect it whenever you create an SOP and drop it into your new system, right? Um, the last thing um, is interfaces and what that might look like, this is our internal table, is we have it broken down by department and we have what needs updated, 
some graphs in there and then broken down by department. And what I can do is go in here and assign it to my team member and say, review the triage script. And I want somebody on my team, probably Brent, to review the triage script. And it's tied to the triage script. So he'll get this in his tasks to review. He'll click a button and he'll have the SOP right there for him. And then I just want to save that. And boom, you can see that in his tasks. So that's another level up. I'll be talking about this uh, on some of our peace and profits calls every Wednesday at 2 p.m. EST. But now with your SOP tracker, you have everything in there to be successful with it. Um, remember to use the Airtable Web Clipper, to use Loom, to use uh, AI Scribe, highly recommend it. And you can start building out your SOPs inside of Airtable. Let me just put a title on it. So, all right, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat um, or drop them, this might go up on YouTube. So check that out. We actually did it under 25 minutes. So that was excellent. And I'll be doing more of these trainings or they're gonna be coming out soon. I hope that was helpful. If you did get value out of this, drop hashtag value down below um, and I'll create more videos like this. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this. I'll talk to you guys soon.